Well, tonight, ousted Mobile Police Chief Paul Prine is questioning the independence of a third party review of the police department slated to be released next week, and we are told that review has troubling findings in it. Mayor Sandy Simpson's administration tasked former U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of Alabama, Kenyon Brown, to conduct that review after several officer involved incidents. Well, Prine believes Brown's too close to conduct this review. Project Thrive is a mobile police department program that helps victims of violent crime. Records show the nonprofit's chairman is former mobile police officer Curtis Graves, who was recently appointed to the deputy director of public safety. The mayor's chief of staff, James Barber, and former U.S. attorney Kenyon Brown served as founding directors and were both listed as directors in the 2022 tax filing. Brown says he hasn't been involved with the group since he left Mobile in November of 2021. But Prine says the connection to the Stimson administration shows Brown is not a true independent party of the Mobile Police Department. I think compromises their integrity and I think it cast a huge doubt and a shadow over this third party report that is supposed to be released to tarnish me. Mayor Stimson declined to respond on camera today. Not right now. Kenya Brown sent a statement that said, quote, the report will be released next week. The report will speak for itself. People can make up their own minds about the authenticity of the report. Council President C.J. Small believes Brown's report will be a true independent review of recent officer-involved incidents. Because I don't believe that he will ruin his reputation. Um, Mr. Brown is at a very high level. And just for a little small report like this, probably one equivalent to like not even 1% of his life, I do not believe that he will, you know, mess up his reputation. Prine also points to the language in the severance options presented to him. Option one allowed Prine to retire with his reputation intact and would allow the city to, quote, mitigate the public report Kenyon is preparing. The city has the authority to mitigate that. If they have the authority to mitigate that, then it, it's not a, a true third party objective. Prine raised this issue as well as others in a series of interviews in the last week. Small says the council will be looking into his accusations. There are some concerns among the council of some statements that was made, but when we go into executive session tomorrow, we all just going to sit down and hash, hash, you know, and talk about it. Well, Small says the council will likely go into executive session after their pre-council meeting tomorrow. Executive sessions are closed to the public. Now, in recent moments, I received a lengthy statement from the Stimson office. I'll read part of it and quote. It says, uh, former U.S. Attorney Kenyon Brown was selected in conversation between Mayor Stimson, Council President C.J. Small, and City Attorney Ricardo Woods because of his qualifications and his familiarity with the community and local law enforcement. Is it important to note that his selection was not at the request or direction of Chief Barber or Director Lasky. It goes on to say that under no circumstances would the city manipulate a public report from Kenyon Brown. We will put the full statement on our website, mynbc15.com.